and welcome to Built and Deployed, a technical video series for cloud architects. My name is Bill Wimsat, and I'm a director in Oracle's cloud engineering team. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with Mohamed Gudarzi. He's a PhD student and research assistant at Cloud's lab at the University of Melbourne. So we're here to, today to talk about how their team ingests, analyzes, and makes predictions on many different IoT devices using x86 and ARM compute together with an Oracle Autonomous Database and Oracle Machine Learning. Can we spend a few minutes walking through the architecture that you're using on OCI and really describing the technical rationales? As you can see in the edge layer, the resources that we have are mostly ARM-based resources. It is one, one big advantage that the OCI provides for us is that using the Ampere, uh, ultra Ampere ARM-based instances that OCI provides, we can have homogeneous resources at the edge and at the cloud as well, rather than heterogeneity that we can support using other types of instances that we have. Can you explain a little bit how are you using the ARM processors, what you're using them for, and really the advantages over the general purpose CPUs that you have in the architecture as well? For these types of applications that need high level of parallelization, ARM-based instances are the winner. But since we have some other types of, or for example, we can say generic types of uh, applications that don't need such high level of parallelization, we have x86 uh, instances as well. And this is the responsibility of or a scheduling algorithm to manage. So you're part of the Oracle ARM Accelerator program. Is, is ARM development really any different from general purpose CPU development? Just since we, we have, we have uh, everything containerized and dockerized, uh, let's say it's better, uh, what we need at the last step uh, for containerization, we need to create image based on the architecture. So uh, the last step just is different and uh, for our framework and for the, uh, for the applications that we have, we develop same uh, for, I mean, based uh, same as x86 or ARM. Uh, but at the last step, we are creating our container uh, and we are optimizing our images based on different architectures. So in this way, we are supporting or uh, FOCBUS 2 framework as well, supports multi-architecture. Uh, you have two different fault domains. Is that for high availability, uh, disaster recovery, or what's the reasoning for multiple fault domains? The, the reason that we use different fault domains is that we, we want to uh, have, uh, we want to reach to high availability. So in case that um, any failure happens, for example, for one of the physical instances that we have in uh, Oracle, so the other instances that we have on other uh, fault domains, they can provide uh, the same features that our framework offers. So as you can see, in different fault domains that we have, we use ARM instances on both of the fault domains and x86 uh, instances as well in different fault domains. In this way, if one of the uh, fault domains face to any uh, failure, the other uh, the instances within the other uh, fault domain, they can provide this uh, the same service. Mohammed, you're using a lot of different services on OCI. You're using ARM, you're using general CPU, you're using autonomous database, you're using Oracle Machine Learning. What's in the work for, for future deployments and use of OCI services? As a logical next step, we are uh, working on uh, container orchestrations and the Kubernetes services that the OCI uh, performs for us. And uh, one last step for us is to use the GPU resources that the Oracle provides in order to expand the uh, uh, type of services that we can provide. So in this well as well, we can support more types of IoT applications, the IoT applications that requires GPU for faster processing. So these are uh, the three uh, next steps for using the Oracle services. That's good. That, that's great. I, this is this is really interesting. So thank you so much for your, for your time today. Uh, I really appreciated talking with Mohammed. And this has been Built Deployed. 
Thank you so much for joining us today and stay tuned for more technical conversations with OCI customers. Thanks again.